Hey guys, Nate here with Nate's Interactive Auto. I don't mean to blind you with my light, so let's turn that off for just a moment. First, I want to show you guys how to make your own smoke machine. You don't need a huge air compressor or anything like that. You can use a car compressor, your little 12 volt car compressor that plugs into your cigarette lighter. And you can take something and insert it into the end or you can take the end of the hose itself and insert it into a jug of some sort like this one something that you can open and close with the lid the threads on and then take another hose hook it to the other end but I'm going to show you guys how um, there's some other things that I've also seen uh, some other popular YouTubers had said that you could use a cigar. Well, I went to get a cigar and ask them to give me the biggest cigar they could, and they said it was apparently uh, these, so couldn't get anything really big. All I did was take a knife and a jug, stab a tiny little hole in the jug, and then insert my hose into it and you want to put something on the end this way you don't have to worry about getting any kind of sealant or glue or anything you use on your airline but most of these little pumps come with these little fittings that's made for air mattresses basketballs things like that and you can use that uh, use just about any sealant I just used a can of flex seal that I had laying around like I said, you want to make sure that you leave something that you can unthread. That way you can um, insert something you can burn. You want something that will burn kind of slow, but burn well and make a lot of smoke. I have just chose to use some pieces of cardboard. And on one of my pieces of cardboard, I use like some Marvel Mystery Oil or something and that way it'll kind of burn a little bit slower and then I got another piece that's basically dry so this will be interesting to use this uh, cigar method you can find just about anywhere on the vehicle to insert your line and I'll show you guys where I inserted my line I just stuck a rubber glove on here and then I took some black tape wrapped around it this is the intake part you want to make sure it's covered up stuff some rags in there or something make sure it's sealed up um, you may have to seal something else up once you're you start pumping the smoke in it and you can see I didn't do anything special here just took a knife and always make a much smaller cut than what you think you'll need because if you will make it a lot smaller cut and then kind of force it in then you'll have a lot better results okay and if you can use something that's beveled on the end if you can use things that are shaped like this on the end where they get from smaller to larger this way you can make a smaller hole insert it and press it in and then you want to put a little silicone on the outside or um, some glue or just some something like that you can buy one of these valve stems you know it goes on the tire nothing special and the reason is, is you can buy this and insert it in the jug and then your pump is actually made to thread on that see that's threaded that's not pushed on there so this actually came with the pump and it like I said these are for uh, air mattresses basketballs things like that but if you buy one of those uh, valve fittings like I just showed you then you'll be able to thread this piece right on it and you take that whole fitting and take it inside of the jug and then push it through the outside just make you a small little cut remember always smaller than what you think you need um, you don't want to go too large and then I took another little piece of hose clear hose that way I can see my smoke's going through and like I said I used a flex seal around this so I just push these in there after I made a tiny little cut it took me a second to kind of force them through hold on to them for a minute or so and then give them a little bit more time to dry find a little fitting 
somewhere. Find a fitting. You see that little fitting right there? That's where my airline's going to. That fitting right there. Okay. Now, something like this may end up leaking or something like that. You may need to kind of hold your throttle open. Um, you might have to use something that will press your fuel down. Uh, it will help the air get through a lot better. You can try before, but if you're not seeing anything, then this is what you want to do. You can see there. That's the throttle. And... This is a cable, so I can just do it by hand, but if it weren't, I would just lay a stick or something in between it and the seat, and that would allow it to hold open. While the car's off, of course, you don't want to do this with the car running. But you can see I just use black tape and things like that. So, and this is where we want to open this guy up and insert our burning materials. Okay guys, are you ready to get wrenching? I know I am, so let's get into it. I'll take this cap off first. First we're going to try this cigar. Now, I'm probably just going to go ahead and try to use this cigar in here first, but to try not to burn this. Um, so you may want to use something that's made of uh, metal or tin, like a coffee can or something. Um, but cigar usually works pretty good for that um, but I do want to try just blowing it through the hose or something and see how effective that really is so let's fire this bad boy up kids don't try this at home this is bad for you surgeon general warning and Disclaimer, do all this at your own discretion. Don't blame me if you mess anything up. Sorry, I know you guys aren't interested in watching me smoke a cigar. Unless maybe it had something special in it. And then I'd be really setting a bad example for you guys. move this around no more than possible. Turn our pump on. I'm going to turn my light down. I don't want to blind you guys. There we go. Okay guys, we can see some smoke coming out right here. Take you guys in for a closer look. As you can see, the smoke coming up. And I realize it's actually the intake. So this intake's leak. coming from our intake wow okay guys use a cigar just like I said before if you don't have a compressor you don't want to do the whole compressor bit let's see if we can get any results with this cigar and no compressor Well guys, I don't know if you all can see that, but I'm definitely seeing some good results.
that there was a leak, particularly the spot that I showed you guys before. Well, guys, I want to thank you for watching Nate's Interactive Auto. You guys keep on wrenching.